Vigiana Hoy! Was it here? ODM! 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 Hey! Mimi! Siku ya leo ni mejawa na furaha ambaye hazina kifani. Nimiketi pale na sikia kama bine watu wanakohoa. Nimesikia vijana wamekohoa. Ulemavu wamekohoa. Umama wamekohoa. Wazai wa kanguru. Manela yimesikia. Kifika Sima ingia Kwa sababu mimi Nataka kuanza Kuanza kutawa shukla ni queen Wanachamu wa ODM Kwa imani Kwa eshima Na kwa mungano Mbao nyingi mweonyesha mimi Nikiwa mkiungozi wenu na mimi bado ni kiongozi wenu. Sijatoka. Siendi mahali. Wow. Tu... <laughs> mimi natembea tu kidogo namna hii. Naenda kando. Kupumua kupumu kidogo. Naenda kando tu kidogo kujinisaidie. <laughs> Lakini niko na nyinyi. Sawa sawa. Sasa ODM ni chama ambaye iko na historia. Na vile mnasema hapa ODM sasa ita idhimisha siku ya 20 ya tangu kuzaliwa kwake. Sio haki kabisa. Lakini ni muhimu sana katika hatua zetu za ziara zetu za kufika kule tunataka kufika. ODM kama chama ilizaliwa miaka 20 iliyopita lakini ilizaliwa na chama ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa LDP na LDP ilizaliwa na chama cha New Kanu Kanu New Kanu ilizaliwa na chama ambayo inaitwa NDP na NDP izaliwa na chama inaitwa Ford Kenya. Na Ford Kenya ilizaliwa na chama kinaitwa Ford. Na Ford ilizaliwa na kikundi kinaitwa Young Tax. Young Tax. Walikuwa watu wangapi? Pembe tano. Pembe tano iswaje kwa kimombo? Pentagon. Sijua. <laughs> Kulikuwa pembe moja inaitwa Anyangyo. Kulikuwa inaitwa Kulikuwa inaitwa Paul Mwiti. Kulikuwa inaitwa James Orengo. Kulikuwa inaitwa Joe Ager. Ya tano ni ya Tano ni nani? Hao and the original Young Turks. Watu watano baadaye maana siku hizi mara mingi maandisho ya habari ya wapati hii maana wengine wao walikuwa hawajazaliwa unaweka majina ambaye ni vioja kwetu lakini baada ya haya wengine wakaingia kitovu ya manyara Moisa Kitui kaita Murungi wakaingia sasa ikaenda namna hiyo na baadaye tukaleta wazee tukaleka wazee Jaramogi Shikuku Muliro Bamaris Ndenge Gachoka hao ndio walikuja kuungana na sisi Lakini wakati hiyo kulikuwa na utawala ya kidhuluma na kimabavu Ilikuwa kusema ngwe ndani ngwe ndani sasa tukasema hawa sasa tuanzishe chombo 
ambaye hawezi kuja kuchukua namna hii na akapeleka ndani tukaanzisha ile ndio pressure group ambayo tukaita Ford Forum for the Restoration of Democracy sasa kutoka pale wengine wakuja kuangia kaleza siasa za kikabila kugawanyisha watu Ford kazambaratika Ford Kenya Ford Asili alafu sasa ingine ni historia ambayo nyinyi wengi wanajua kwa hivyo ODM nasema iko na mzingi ambao maenda chini sana usiangalie tu hii miaka 20 ambayo imepita lakini imetoka mbali zaidi kabla tujaunda hata hiyo Ford hata tujakuwa kama Young Turks tulikuwa bila bila tunapigana mbele zaidi huko mbele tulikuwa tunaunda kizwe ambaye inaitwa Kenya African Socialist Alliance kasa mwaka 90 na 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 82 na ndini eti tu tuliweka kasa maana yake tulikuwa na chama kimoja kisheria tukasema sisi tunataka kuundisha chama nilipokuwa tunataka kuundisha chama kuundisha chama ndio wakaenda kwa bunge na wakabadilisha katiba wakasema ni chama ni moja peke yake mama na baba kaani peke yake sisi tukasema hapana hizi sawa sawa kukalipuka pup tukachukuliwa tukawekwa ndani miaka sita ndani natoka ndani mwezi sita tena ndani natoka ndani tena mwaka moja ndani tena kwa hiyo hivyo mjua kwamba hii imetoka mbali ni struggle ambayo wa Kenya wamepigana kwa muda mrefu zaidi kuna wengine ambaye wamekufa katika hii mimi nimeona watu wengi marafiki wetu ambao wamekufa kwa hii hii struggle nimekao na watu mpeleko mahakama pale wakitoka mahakama wamechapatiwa nini e, hukumu ya, ya kifo wanakuja wanapiga mimi kwa heri lakini kwa hiyo mimi naenda salimu watu wangu salimu wa Kenya mimi nakufa lakini mimi nakufa kwa niaba ya wa Kenya kwa hivyo Asante. Polini sana. Ninakuwa na uchungu. Ukikumbuka mtu tulikuwa pamoja anakuambia kwamba mimi sitakuona tena. Anatoka pale anapeleka kule na nyongwa. Kwa hivyo sasa wengine mkana sisi tunakuwa na hasira ni sababu kuna sababu wengine waandishi wa habari hawaelewi maana yake wao hawajaona mambo kama yale lakini hii harakati ya ukombozi imetoka mbali wengine ambao wamechangia hakuweza kukuja kuona pale tumefika hii katiba pia haikukuja kwa rais katiba ambayo mnaona hii <coughs> imechukua muda ni watu wamekufa ikoleta hii katiba wengine waweza kukumbuka tulipokuwa kule boma za Kenya tulikuwa na mwenyekiti alikuwa anaitwa Odhiambo Mbai eh alikuwa anasimamia kamati ya ugatuzi kamati ya katiba ya, ya ugatuzi kazi kwake mchana kule Ngongo Road kwa ndani ya nyumba yake wakaingia wakampata yeye na watoto 
pale watoto wakampiga risasi wakamuoa wale wale waomba utamba bai bado wako mpaka wa leo kuna chochote imefanyika kwao kwa hivyo hii katima mpya ilikuja kwa kwa ni kwa uwezo ya wakenya lakini ilikuja kwa jasho na damu ya wakenya walikuwa hawataki watu wengi hawaelewi ile uzuri ambayo imepika kwa sababu ya wakenya kupigana vijana wengine hawaelewi lakini sisi tunajua ya kwamba hii katiba tulileta kwa jasho na damu ya wakenya lakini ingawaje tu kuna hii katiba sio ile ambayo tulikuwa nataka kamili iko kazi mbaya bado inabaki ifanyike ndio tupate ile katiba kamili vile tunataka sasa ni sababu chombo tuko naye ni chama ambayo inawezesha sisi kupata yale ambayo tunataka yote kwa hivyo ODM ni muhimu sana na vile unavyo ODM ni chombo ambayo iko na pembe pembe nani kwa kimombo chombo ambayo ni pembe mbili ni nini ni mstari sio pembe tatu ni tango pembe nne pembe tano pentagon pembe sita hexagon pembe saba septagon pembe nane hexagon hexagon ni odm pembe moja inaitwa nyanza pili inaitwa magharibi ya tatu bonde la ufa ya nne mashariki ya tano kaskazini mashariki ya sita nairobi eh ya 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 ya, ya, ya saba pwani ya nane eh kati kati sio si ndio nane si nane kwa hivyo odm iko na pembe nane sasa leo hii tuko kule pembe ya nane ambayo inaitwa pwani tuko hapa na pembe ya nane ya ODM ni muhimu sana katika muungu ya ODM. Iko na nguvu sana. Hizo <laughs> songes. Tunataka pwani izidi kuwa ni nguvu katika chama chetu cha ODM. Pwani inajulikana kama ODM zone. Tunataka ibaki namna hiyo. uchaguzi iliyopita tuliona madawadoa madawadoa yanza kuingia katika chama chetu tumeona kule kwale madawadoa yanaingia hapo kilivi vile vile madawadoa yameingia kidogo Mombasa madawadoa kidogo lakini si sana Tana Riva na Lamu namna hiyo hata Taita Taveta nataka mfagie hiyo madawadoa tukafanya hiyo madawado ni sababu tunasema tuwe na, na, na kongamano na viongozi kutoka pwani tunasikia unajua malalamishi kwa mfano umesikia taita taveta kuna malalamishi hapo hapa na pale sio hiyo inamaanisha nini inamaanisha kwamba nyoka imezoezeka si nyoka imezoezeka ata mti kinyo ikizeeka ile majani inangusha ile majani chini ile majani mzee alafu inatoa zile nyingine sio na nyoka je nyoka yake eh sinatoa ile ngozi ya kizee kizee narudi msichana sio hiyo ndio sababu tunataka uchaguzi sasa nyoka itoe ile ngozi ambayo imezeeka 
Usi unataka namna hiyo? Si unakubaliana? Hiyo ni sababu tumesema tumeitisha hii uchaguzi ili nyoka etoe ile ngozi zikizee ili tu kuna ile ngozi safi mbaya iko kule ndani. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. hii uchaguzi inakuja tunataka tuonyeshe ungwana. Mimi nimekuwa na uhusiano na vyama vingi sana katika ulimwengu. Tumekuwa na chama ile inaitwa Labour Party kule Uingereza. Tumekuwa na uhusiano ile chama ambayo inaitwa The Democratic Party kule Amerikani. Kule Ujerumani The Social Democratic Party na Liberal Party kule Ujerumani. Hata Liberal Party ya Uingereza tumekuwa na uhusiano. Sasa mimi nimeshiriki katika uchaguzi wa vyama hizo. Ushaguzi kifanyika ile ile ukienda ya chama chochote hizo nimetaja. Hakuna ugomvi. Hakuna vita. Inafanyika kwa njia ya urafiki. Wanachama wanaketi ndani ya ukumbi namna hii. Wanasema makadi ya ndani fulani fulani fulani. Alafu sasa unaambia hao candidates watoke nje. Alafu sasa wanachama wanabaki namna hii. Alafu sasa unasema wale ambao wanaunga mkono fulani fulani waende mkono. Namna hii. Kuna wale ambao ni officials wanahesabu wewe hesabu ngambo hii hesabu ngambo hii. Unahesabu hesabu 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 hesabu. Alafu nasema fulani this. Alafu wengine nafanya namna hiyo tena hesabu hiyo namna hiyo. Ngine namna hiyo. Alafu sasa kuna nduka inaandika kwa board hapo. Fulani kuna namba hii kesi fulani na fulani. Alafu sasa wanaitwa wale ambao walikuwa ni makandidate kutoka ukinje. Wanaingia. Alafu matokeo yanatangazwa. Ni returning officer. Fulani mpata kura hizi. Fulani mpata kesi hii, mpata kesi hii. Ina kushin na hiyo ngine anaenda na chukua mkono mwingine wanasalimena hapo hapo mambo ya kuisha hapo hapa kwetu mambo ya chaguzi inakuwa ni vita inakuwa ni vita watu wanapigana tunataka secret ballot hata chama ya chama chama is a society ya mwana chama kama umeshindwa kubali umeshindwa alafu bado tunachana na hiyo kwa nini watu wote wapigane why should an election be a matter of life and death in our country why mpaka wewe unataka demokrasia na hutaki wewe mwenyewe kukubali ya kwamba wewe unaweza kushindwa yule ambaye akubali yule ambaye akubali kushindwa sio sivyo mimi nataka hiyo uchaguzi na kujwa ODM inyeshe ungwana kwa wa Kenya. Ifundishi wa Kenya demokrasia. Ningependa kusihi wanake wanachama wetu wa ODM wafanye hii uchaguzi ambayo tunakuja kwa njia ya ungwana. Ili kusiwe na fujo. Tusikusiwe na mahitaji ya kuleta mapolisi, atipoli, askari mpaka wakuwe karibu. Tunataka wanachama wanakwenda pale wanajuana wanasalimena kwa maana yake tuko na branches huko chini mashinani kila mtu anajua fulani na fulani na fulani hakuna hakuna vita unakaa tu pale mnakubali na nani atakuwa ni training officer ni fulani alafu watu wana uchaguzi unafanyika hapo chini kwa nini tutumie pesa mingi ili tunafanya uchaguzi wa kishamba na hii ni chama ya watu ambao wanajuana tumeleona vizuri tumeleona vizuri eh nataka muonyeshe mfano mzuri kwa uchaguzi yetu ya chama cha ODM wangapi nakubaliana na mimi nione mkono ODM ODM vile unavyojua mwaka jana sisi tulikuwa kwa barabara kwa na sababu ya dhulum ambayo ilifanyika yale yafanyika kwa ushindi wetu na vile vile gharama ya maisha 
na yale mambo mabaya yote ambayo ilikuwa inafanyika mwaka jana unajua yale ambayo ilifanyika vile watu wetu wengine walipigwa risasi na kawao ikafika wakati sisi tulikuwa tunataka kufanya maombi hata tukakazuliwa kufanya maombi kwa wale watu kisha wale rafiki yetu kutoka nje wakaja kuleta suluhisho tukakubali kusimamisha maandamano na kuzungumza na tukateua team ya kwenda kufanya mazungumzo ambayo inaitwa NADCO na hiyo NADCO wakazungumza na wakatoa ripoti hiyo ripoti tulisema mpaka itekelezwe wakati wakati tunasikia kwamba kuna wabunge wengine wanataka kufanya hiyo ripoti isitekelezwe tunasema mapendekezo ambayo iko ndani ya ripoti ya NADCO lazima itekelezwe The narco report must be implemented. Manake yale ndio ilikuwa sababu ya sisi kusimamisha maandamano. Ambao ndani ya hiyo report iko vile vile mambo ya compensation kwa jamii ya wale watu ambao walipata majeraha na wengine ambao waliwawa. Tumeliona vizuri? Tumeliona vizuri? Sasa mwaka huu vile vile vijana wengine weli walitoka jitokeza uwanjani wakasema enough is enough na wakaniambia mimi baba we baki nyumbani usitoke imefanya ya kutosha wacha sisi tupigane hii vita na vijana wakajitokeza wakafanya maandamano kwa njia ya amani lakini wengine wakaali wakaenda kule wakaanza kupiga watu risasi na watu wengi waliwawa wengine wakapata majeraha sana sisi tulilani na bado tunalani vikali sana vitendo ya kinyama ambayo ilifanyika wakati huo alafu vile vile tumeona wakati huo baada hiyo watu wanatekwa nyara hovyo hovyo wanatekwa nyara Unaambia hajui na mtu gani ambaye aliwashika mtu anaweka kama wiki ni eh eh tatu hiyo ni nchi gani hiyo ni ishara ya kwamba tunarudi kule kule tulikuwa tumetoka kwa hiyo yale ambayo yanafanyika wakati huu mpaka tulani kabisa atuwezi kuvumia kama yule ambaye kwa na bwana njagi Njagi alikuwa mwanachama ni mwanachama chama chetu cha ODM. Alikuwa official yetu. Ameshikwa, amepelekwa mahali ambayo hajulikani mpaka sasa. Tunarudi ndani ya mambo kama yale ambayo yalikuwa yanafanyika wakati ile ya, ya dhulumu ya nyayo. Atuwezi kukubali kurudi huko tena. Atuwezi. We must condemn in the strongest terms possible. This kind of bestiality abduction of people by goons officials of the state are masquerading as goons and keeping them for three weeks is completely unacceptable we cannot accept this this must stop forthwith and again arresting even officials who are known like yesterday they arrested the governor of, of Tanariva If a governor has committed an offense let him come and write a statement a governor is not going, is not going to, uh, to abscond let him go and write a statement and let him go home if you want to charge him charge him with a court of law he must carry the, all these things with some amount of civility we should not use primitive methods of dealing with very senior members of our society This is something that is not acceptable and it must be said so we are saying today that we are seeing some very dangerous developments taking place and this if not arrested will become a practice kwa hivyo haya yote mpaka sisi kama chama tulani the other thing i want to be on record today kila mara media wanasema oh 
the, 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 the marriage, Raila, Naruto, na nini? Kama ni marriage kuna mama na kuna ba, kuna bu, kuna bwana. Naruto na gani? We have not ODM has not entered the government. There is no contract that you've signed with Kenya Kwanza. You have not signed an agreement. We are saying right from the beginning that we need a national dialogue, a national convention to discuss the issues in the country. Some of them which we raised ourselves, and some of them which were raised by the, the, the youth this year when they were demonstrating. That conversation has not taken place. Until that conversation takes place properly, an agreement is reached, we are not in government. What is there is that they ask for to, to give them some people to go and help them. People who are experts who they believe can do the job correctly and, and properly. And they release those people to join the government. But ODM remains very, very firmly in its position as an opposition party. <laughs> and in Azimio, as things stand today, we remain firmly as an opposition party movement. We have not joined any coalition with the Kenya Kwanza. And I would say that if you want, we must have a national conversation. We have a national conversation to deal with many outstanding issues, like those including the constitution, which have not been addressed. These issues require to be addressed properly and, and firmly, uh, so that we can be able to put the country on a further footing. We want, of course, the election commission to be uh, established as quickly as possible, because we have got many outstanding issues here at cost in Magarini, took in a penny by election. Papi Harrison Kombe. Kombe, who is the one who is here? Harrison is the one who is here. But I think that he is the one who is here. We have a lot of Tutasimama na hei Nitu akikika ya kwamba anarudi katika bungi Kwa sawa Shukini mkono Kwa sawa Ongere, tuku na wewe Tuku na wewe Asante sana Kwa sawa Tunataka imambo uchaguzi wa hapa hii Ifanyike kwa njea haraka iweze kandavyo Nataka sasa hile tume mewekwa if, Ifanya kazi ya raka raka Tume na tume ya uchaguzi The election commission As quickly as possible It was all those outstanding by elections Zifanyike kwa njea haraka kabisa Sawa sawa Kwa mimi sasa Manipate mimi rusa Naenda kupambana kule Adisababa Tuko ma candidates manne, tuko anne. Mwana metoka Madagascar, mwana metoka Mauritius, mwana metoka uko Djibouti. Si Djibouti? Aki tuko na wao kwa njia kwanja. Tutangangana, tutangangana kama nini? Kama nini? Kama kama mashujasiyo. Kwenye vita vya moto Kwenye vita vya moto Kwenye vita vya moto Tuapambana kama mashuja Tuapambana, tuapambana Tuapambana kama mashuja Tuapambana, tuapambana, kama mashuja. ODM, ODM. Asante ni sana.